Welcome to our lecture online and here's a third example of how to do investment problems in algebra. This is part of the segment 3E on word problems. The example here says a total of $8,000 was invested part at 6% and the other part at 9%. How much was invested at each rate if the total interest earned was $645? All right, let x equal the amount invested at either amount, but let's just pick 6%, so the amount invested at 6%. That means the, re the remainder, the leftover of the 8,000, so 8,000 minus x is the amount invested at 9%. And since they tell us what the total amount of money earned was $645, which means that the dollar earned, I say dollars and a right percent, doesn't make a lot of sense, but all right, so the dollars earned at 6% plus the dollars earned at 9% must equal the total dollars earned. Total earned. And we were told that was $645. So the amount of money earned at 6% plus the amount of money earned at 9% must equal the total amount of money earned. How do you calculate the dollars earned at 6%? You multiply the rate of return, 6%, times the amount that was invested X here. You multiply the rate of return, 9%, times the amount invested at, at that amount, which is 8,000 minus x, and so that must add up to the total. Turning that into equation, we get 0.06x. This represents the amount, invest, the amount earned at 6% plus 0 0.09 times 8,000 minus x, this represents the amount earned at 9%, and that adds up to the total amount of money earned. Again, we, got, we have to get rid of the decimal places, which means we're going to multiply the left by 100. We're going to multiply the right by 100. When we do that, we get 6x plus 9 times 8,000 minus x is equal to 645 with two zeros. Simply add two zeros when you multiply by 100. Get rid of the parentheses. 6x plus 72,000 minus 9x equals 64,500. Leaving all the terms with an x to the left side of the equation, moving the 72,000 to the right side of the equation, we get 6x minus 9x equals 64,500 minus 72,000. Then when we combine like terms on the left side, we get a minus 3x. On the right side, we get, hmm, let's see here, that would be uh, 7,500, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, a negative sign, if we add this to this, we get exactly 72,000, so that is correct. Now we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the x. The minus 3's cancel out. Notice the negatives here will cancel out, and 3 goes into 7,500, 2,500 times, so x equals 2,500. Going back to our definitions, we see that x represented the amount invested at 6%. Since x is 2,500, that means we invested 2,500 at 6%. And then the remainder, 8,000 minus that, which is 5,500, is the amount invested at 9%. And again, that's how you do these types of investment problems. Okay, go give this a try. Hopefully that makes sense now. Good luck.